Hello everyone, this is Genius Yoshi, and today we're playing We Know The Way. And We Know The Way is a nice song, so you can cast it for free for three, which isn't too hard to do. Or you target a card from your discard, shuffle it into your deck, which means you shuffle your deck, and then reveal the top card of your deck. If it has the same name as that card, you can play it for free. Otherwise, you draw it. Now, a song for three that draws one card, not great. But if you get to play it for free, now that's something. It allows you to play a character for free. Now that's pretty good, but you can't manipulate the top of your deck like a Mufasa and say play a Maleficent Dragon on top of the deck to just go boom, big dragon. So how do we mitigate that downside? Well, it's just saying that it must have the same name as the chosen card. But with five sets under our belt, we now have a lot of characters that have a bunch of different copies of that card. So we're going to be playing We Know The Way in a nice shell of Maleficent. And we're going to be choosing Amethyst and Ruby. Now the reason for Ruby is since we're going to go with Maleficent as our named character of choice, and we're always calling Maleficent with We Know The Way, is that we have access to the dragon. So no, you can't manipulate it on top, but you can luck into it. And look at all of these Maleficents that are available. So we, we want to have one cheap Maleficent that dies, or even a big one, shuffle her into our deck, and then we have a lot of chances of casting a character for free. And I mean, even if it's a three drop, you're hopefully singing We Know the Way, and then it becomes a trade this card for play a tree drop character on the battlefield for free. That's pretty nice. But we also have some nice payoffs. If we are lucky and we hit a monstrous dragon, that can be game changing. Starting from turn four, there's also the formidable queen. I mean, if we're going to be playing a Maleficent theme deck, we also have a bunch of shift shifting targets for Maleficent. So we get to play her. And she also synergizes with Maleficence. So in some way, this is a Maleficent deck. In other ways, this is a We Know The Way deck. Uh, it's a bit of both just mashed together uh, because I think that's where we're getting the best odds of pulling a, an impactful card because we have four formidable queens and we also have four Maleficent dragons that we can hit. There's also the five drop Mistress of All Evil. That's not bad if you get to play that for free off of the song, that's pretty good. So we have three nice payoff Maleficence, two of which are inkable, the other one, which has a nice payoff for playing a ton of Maleficence, which is what we want to do anyways. Then we just need to fill our curve with Maleficence. The Sorceress is obviously one of the best ones. It's just played by herself. And <coughs> well, she's three drop, she can sing, we know the way, so fantastic there. Also be playing the one drop because well, it's easy to get her in our discard pile and we can play the aggro game uh, if we have her on the battlefield. Apply a bit of pressure, force the opponent to deal with her and then we have our Maleficent in the discard ready to be used with we know the way. Uh, also it's a cheap, uh, a cheap Maleficent so that the formidable queen which triggers for each character named Maleficent in play gives us a cheap shifting target and a duplicate Maleficent if we want to target multiple characters with the formidable queen. So that's why we're playing her. Um, and, well, we want more shifting targets, we want more hits, or more things to send back into our deck for the song. So we're going to go all out Maleficent. Four copies of the 2 2 2 Quester. I mean, it's not great. But if you're going to be drawing a card, I'd rather have that on the battlefield. We'll also be play playing a full play set of the Vex Party Gore. If you hit them, they're fine. I mean, they enter play, you get tempo advantage. There are nice inkables and they can get you into an out of a tough spot with the formidable queen. So we're going for two, four, six, seven Maleficents. That's a lot of Maleficents. And now, well, since we're playing so many Maleficents, we'll end up playing some Diablo Fateful Pet, uh, which allows us to manipulate the top of our deck a little bit 
Uh, not useful with we know the way, but just in, in picking these nice Maleficents, making sure we hit our Incubals on time, we're playing just so many Maleficents that this effect becomes once every two turns, look at the top of your deck, put it on top or at the bottom, which is pretty nice. Especially since we need a second one drop to go with the Maleficent biding her time because we'll be well, we'll be playing some meta Mems. So if we look back at what we have so far in our deck, just an array of Maleficent and we know the way, we need some, <clears throat> we need some way to survive. And the best way to survive is to play some of these aggressive, challenging characters, namely Madam M. Fox and Maui. So we're playing a full play set of Maui's. And we're going to be playing some Madam Mims. In particular, Madam Mims are very good with a one drop Maleficent, and they're just best in class in general. We're going to go three snakes, four fo uh, three foxes, and two elephants. <clears throat> just spreading our Mims a little, a little bit. So we're, we're already, we already have a pair of three drops with the Maleficent Vex party goer as well as the Sorceress. We don't want to overdo it in our three drop slot. We do also want them for card advantage. So since we're playing a lot of three drops, we're going to be playing some friends on the other side. As we want removal, we want some card draw and yeah, uh, now that we're playing the meta Mims and we want a bit more card draw, let's go for the rabbit. And that's kind of our game plan. So we have a bunch of Maleficents. We have Mim Fox, Maui, Maleficent Dragon, and Maleficent Formidable Queen as our removal spells of choice. We also have Meta Mim Elephant and... Maleficent biting her uh, mistress of all evil that can kind of act as partial removal in certain cases. We have an early game plan. We have a late game plan. We have some card draw so that we can eventually just hard cast our top of the cure of Maleficent. Then we have We Know the Way to just glue it all together, play the top deck roulette, and hopefully hit one of the two powerhouse Maleficents and just win the game off of that. And that's kind of a free inclusion. So it's a free win off the top if we pick it up. Okay, maybe not a free win, but it's pretty good, pretty good. And now we still need one more card. And this one is part of a payoff groove. I forgot to mention it earlier. If we want this powerhouse, Bruno Madrigal, undetected uncle. Uh, instead of questing this Evasive 33 you can name a card and you look at the top card of your deck. If it's a name card, you gain three lore and you put it in your hand. Okay, well that's good if you manipulate the top of your deck, which uh, Diablo is going to help us doing. But it's also good if half of your deck is Maleficent. You know what to call. Who are you going to call? All right, if you said Ghostbusters, go in the comments below and enter Ghostbusters. Otherwise, um, tell me what you, what you were going to call. I mean, there's so many people to call. But at this point, we've gone through the deck list. We have our payoffs. We have our removal. We have our card draw. We have our Maleficence by the dozen. And all that remains is to see the deck in action with some games coming right up. Let's see what we can do with game number one. We are black opponent is red, and we win the die roll four to four two. Let's see what we get in our opening hand. Maleficent, Maleficent. <laughs> yeah, just saying Maleficent's them being half of the deck isn't overly helpful. Well, we do have a variety of them. We have the one drop, have the three drop card draw, and the mistress of all evil, the damage counter mover, and two copies. <clears throat> we have a Mim Snake at Merlin. Actually, that seems pretty good. I think we're just going to keep this as is. And on play, we're going to ink the Mistress of Evil and play some aggression. Maleficent biding her time, as we'll pass the turn back to our opponent. 
are already up with some pressure. Opponent is going to ink a Flynn Rider. And turn one is going to be Daisy. Daisy deck actually bringing some defense, aggro. Well, she really wants to quest, but she's kind of preventing my Maleficent from questing effectively. So turn goes back to us. We find the Diablo. Don't really like. I want that Diablo. Not on turn two. Not if I have a good turn one play, which I do. Let's go to quest. And then we get to snake things up with Metamin. Bouncing back Maleficent into our hand. Suddenly we have the pressure card. Although Daisy can just quest anyways. But still. Passing the turn back to our opponent. Opponent draws. Opponent is going to ink the muses. Going to two. And Daisy Duck's going to quest. Which means that we get a Daisy Duck trigger. Reveal the top card of our deck. It's a character goes into our hand. I guess I should highlight Daisy. She is a new card from Shimmering Sky, so I guess she deserves a little bit of a highlight. Our opponent's on two is going to drop a piglet. As turn passes back to us, we find a Mim Fox. That's a nice one. Don't really need two Maleficent drawers, so we're going to ink one. And on three. Well, actually, we get to take out Daisy if we want to challenge her with Mim Snake, uh, with Mim Fox. That seems like a good play. So, quest with the snake, play the fox, bounce back the snake. And take down Daisy. Thank you for the card. Oh, Mim Fox, saving our bacon since her release. And we'll pass the turn back to our opponent. Who's now not looking as great. Inks a Simba. I'm just going to play. Play a Baloo at the ready. That will pass and turn back to us. We pick up friends on the other side. All right, we don't have anything to challenge with Mim. So maybe now's the time to play to friends. But I do want to apply some kind of pressure. Yeah, sing friends. That's what friends are for. And we find a big Maleficent and Maleficent Vengeful Sorceress. Maybe I should highlight the Vengeful Sorceress so that you can realize that she really doesn't do much. Vengeness. Vengeful Sorceress. Just a 2-2-2 two, two, two quester. Mostly a vanilla-ish character. Have a ton of card draws, so I think we want. I was gonna say we want to sacrifice this Maleficent, but then again, we have the formidable queen that we're gonna to get to shift into soon. We're to shift six. Let's ink that snake. We go to four. I should highlight a better Maleficent. The formidable queen. 7-7. Seven, seven. And we want to have a lot of Maleficence in play when we play her. So I guess we should double drop Maleficence. So one drop, tree drop, pick up a card off of the Sorceress. Pick up another Merlin. So we don't have any shortage in terms of cards. And we'll pass the turn back to our opponent. Upon draws. Opponent inks a Simba. Goes to four, and on four is going to be the muses coming down. My opponent's going to pass the turn. As you ready the fox and pick up another Diablo, 
not quite what we're looking for. So we're going to ink Mr. Diablo. Yet again, going up to five. Almost ready to play the formidable queen. A little worried about those muses. Yeah, but we're on five. I think we just play the Maleficent Mistress of All Evil here. And we quest with Mim Fox. Go to four. Keeping our Maleficent's at the ready so we can shift the big Maleficent and do some damage next turn. So we'll pass the turn back. Assuming the Muses don't have too much to say about it. Opponent is going to begin by singing Mother Knows Best with Balu, targeting Maleficent, Mistress of All Evil, Muses trigger. So opponent gets to bounce back Armin Fox. Actually, no. Mother Knows Best targets the Fox, and Muses target Maleficent, Mistress of All Evil. That is quite annoying. Um, Muses will follow up this thing, strike a good match. Draw two, discard one, and Muses trigger will bounce back, Maleficent biding her time. And Piglet gets to quest for three, thanks to Piglet's ability. Once on four. Opponent's going to ink Lost in the Woods. Goes to five. And last two cards in hand, Piglet number two, as well as another Baludigard, is going to enter the battlefield. Uh, muses are quite annoying when they're on the other side of the board, especially with a pair of Baloos protecting them. Turn passes back to us. We draw Madame Mim. So what are our options here? We can shift the formidable queen and for each Maleficent in play, return chosen character cost three or less, which would just be one. Honestly, that's not great, especially not since it would cost us all our ink. I also have the option of going Maui, small Maleficent, set it up better for next turn. That's six. The other option is we double fox. But double fox doesn't leave us with a very good board presence. We could also go, actually, maybe that applies a bit more pressure if we go for something like this. Maleficent, Maleficent, Fox. Display more of the small stuff. And then what do I ink? Maybe I just ink that Maleficent Sorceress. Put a bit of damage on the Baloo or just quest. I think I'll go that route. Quest at Maleficent. Three for Mim Fox. Bounce her into my hand. Eat her into the ink. Drop the Maleficent. And Mim Fox is going to take out a Baloo. Opponent gains two lore off of the exchange. Opponent is empty handed. I guess I'm going to show off Madame Mim Fox, although I'm pretty sure you've all seen her on the table on your side or the opposing side. As the turn passes back to the opponent, and the opponent has quite a hefty questing position. One draws, you're welcome. <laughs> opponent hardcast, you're welcome, targeting Mim Fox. And you're welcome says, shuffle it into the deck, and we draw two cards. That was a wonderful draw for our opponent, terrible for us. We do get to draw two cards off of it, but that's not what we're looking for. 
So we find another Maui, another big Maleficent. The Muses also get the trigger off of the song, bouncing back our two drop Maleficent in the hand. And our opponent is going to go to quest six, seven, eight, up to 15. Uh, so we get to draw a card. But we don't have enough ink. It really just got out tempoed pretty severely. We can shift the big Maleficent. Take down the Muses. Although, wait, no, this isn't over. This isn't over. <clears throat> if we can force a piglet out. Ah, problem is Baloo. That's when this character is banished. So we can bounce Baloo for quite a while. But if we let Piglet there, Piglet's going to quest for three unless we remove two characters. Can we remove two characters? Well, we're on seven. Just good enough for Maui. But not enough for Maui Mim or something like that. We can shift the Maleficent, which will bounce back a piglet. Then the opponent quest for three, four, five. Hmm. Or no, we shift, we bounce the Baloo, we challenge the piglet. But then we next turn we're gonna have to re double shift the Maleficent on top of Maleficent. Which is really not ideal. Three, four, yeah. And we and we'd be stuck with a Baloo that just takes us down. I don't think there's a good way out. Well, I'm gonna shift the big maleficent anyways. So shift her, bounce the Baloo. Because we only have one Maleficent in play. Challenge a piglet. At least we'll go out with, with a bang and ink, ink Maui. Don't need that many Mauis. I'll live to see another turn. Passing the turn back. One draws, Flynn Rider. Drops both characters on the battlefield. Balu exerted quests for four. Goes up to 19? I've lost my 19. 19. And turn bounces back to us. Find another Maleficent, the Vexed Party Goer. Whenever this character quests. Actually, let me highlight her. She's not quite relevant, but whenever she quests. We can choose or discard a card to bounce something, but it's too slow. Although we are on seven, so we get to just hard cast another big Maleficent. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna ink that. We're on eight. Hard cast Maleficent number two, formidable queen. Which means we have two Maleficents on the battlefield. We get to bounce two things worth three or less, which is going to be Baloo and Flynn Rider. She's not shifted, so we can't challenge with her. The other Maleficent is going to take out Piglet. I don't pass the turn. Muses quest and Muses win, which is a bit unfortunate. Because we had a lot of resources, but the opponent's aggression was just a little too much for us to handle. And it's really the bouncing of our Maleficents. If we managed to stick a few more Maleficents on the battlefield and the opponent didn't have all these tricks, then we could have landed that Maleficent on turn six, bounced a whole bunch of stuff, and recovered. That's how it works in my head, at least. But the multi-bounce was too much. And we ended up losing. Let's see if things get better in game two. As we get outrolled six to five, so our opponent gets to go first. 
our opening hand. Way too many Mims, Maleficent Dragon. Um, I don't like Fox Bruno Maui, but I'm gonna send the rest back. One, two, three, four. Ugh. That's disappointing. No one drops, no two drops after a hefty mulligan. Oh well, we're on the draw, so everything is not fine. Opponent goes first, inks the world's greatest criminal right off the bat, and plays the queen. As turn passes back to us, we pick up, we know the way, and we're going to ink a vexed party gore. Passing the turn back. On turn two, opponent inks strength for raging fire. And it's going to shift the big queen, questing for two. Big stuff right up. We get the turn back. We find a two drop Maleficent, which is pretty good. We're going to ink one of our Mauis. Don't need two of those. And play. The Vengeful Sorceress, which is really just the 2 2 2 quester. That's still. <coughs> then we'll pass the turn back to the opponent. Has a much more intimidating character on the battlefield. Opponent is going to ink another strength from Raging Fire. Goes up to three. And is going to play Ariel, Spectacular Singer. Looks at the top four and finds Strength. Let, let the storm rage on. Opponent is going to let the storm rage on, taking, dealing two damage to our Maleficent, taking her out, and picking up a card in the exchange. As. The queen gets to quest yet again. Five nothing. We get the turn back, friends. All right. Um, I have a, a lot of nice tree draws, but we're gonna ink this Maleficent and play the card draw Maleficent, picking up a big one, and we'll pass the turn back to our opponent. Opponent inks a Robin, plays an Alan Adele, and simply goes to quest of both characters. Going to eight. Turn passes back to us. We find another card drawing Maleficent. <coughs> now we get to sing some stuff. We have a Maleficent in our discard, so Maleficent's gonna sing, We Know the Way. All right, and this deserves a highlight, even though it's... Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't search for just we. We know the way. Shuffle chosen card from your discard pile to your deck. Reveal the top card. And if it's the same name as the chosen card, you may play it for free. Otherwise, you draw it. So at worst, it trades itself for another card. Obviously, we are going to name Maleficent. And now let the shuffling roulette begin. And if we actually hit it, we have to say, this is the way. Mandalorian style. And if you're playing this deck, that's how you have to play it. All right. The top deck is... All right. Well, it's a Maleficent. So we're getting a free 2-2 Maleficent into play. Not a big dragon. But hey, it's something. And we are on turn four, so we still haven't inked our card for the turn. Let's ink. Well, actually, there's an opportunity to take something out with the Mim Fox. So let's ink away that tree drop Maleficent. Play the Mim, play the Mim Fox. Pick back up that. No, actually, what am I doing? Pick back up the card draw Maleficent. And Mim Fox gets to take out the queen and dies in the exchange. 
as we'll pass the turn back to the opponent. And our opponent is going to sing let the storm rage on. Two damage to Miss Maleficent. Going down, opponent picks up a card. Opponent is going to ink that Cinderella. And with three cards in hand, opponent sings a whole new world. Just to make sure they maintain heavy advantage. So opponent draws seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's two songs. So I forgot the add in. Allen and Dale triggers going to 10. And there's still five ink available for our opponent. So why not play a spectacular singer? Looking at the top four. And picking up, grab your swords. Or just one sword. Other people are grabbing pitchforks and stuff to make sure that all your characters are taking the two damage. And so that's three. There's two left. It's going to be a small queen. And the turn is going to pass to us. Cards from a whole new world. Seven and draw for the turn. Just little Diablo. I don't need a pair of Mistress of All evil so i'm gonna ink one of those going to five and five is maui territory i see no reason to do anything else maui you're up then you're taking down the pesky chicken and that's two damage on mr maui as we pass the turn back to our opponent one draws Opponent is going to sing the world's greatest criminal with Ariel, taking down Maui. And then it's going to be <coughs> I'd probably do that. I think the bare necessities. Go to six. Ariel Spectacular Singer number three. Opponents really trying to complete the aerial diamond. Opponent finds strength for raging fire. Three ink left. That's going to be a shifted queen. And questing for three. Up to 13. That's turn passes back to us. It's not our measly zero. We pick up Amim Snake. Round five. Probably don't need that snake, so we're gonna ink her. Go to six. And we need to play some stuff. Uh the elephant seems pretty good in this particular situation. So we're gonna Diablo, elephant bag the Diablo, play the Diablo again for our six. And that's going to be our turn. As we pass back to our opponent. Uh, opponent can quest for five. We're just on Amethyst. So I think your opponent just goes sideways. To 18. Lands a bumbling mate. I don't think there's need to do any more than that. So opponent passes the turn back. And we don't really have anything here. We can take out the queen. Putting a bit of damage on our elephant. And quest for one just so we don't get skunked and beaten to zero. As in, we'll pass the turn back to the opponent who is going to take the win. That whole new world was a bit too much. And the opponent just kept on, kept taking out our Maleficence as we played them. And we really don't have much in terms of removal. As I'm looking at it, 
outside of the Mims and the Mauis. Uh, but doesn't seem to be enough as we take another loss. Let's move on to game number three. As we better beat that one as soon as we stop spinning. Five. We get to go first. We get a variety of Maleficent. And then a triplet of Mim Fox. So we didn't complete our flush. We're going to send two of these Mim Foxes back. Oh, actually. We'll send that Maleficent too. It's not very good. And we already have something in three. We know the way Diablo and a Maleficent Vengeful Spirit. It's actually a pretty good starting hand, especially on the play. And I like the fact that we already know the way. All right, so we're going to ink one of those two drop Maleficents and play Diablo. And on that note, we'll pass the turn to our opponent. Should highlight what Mr. Diablo does. Whenever we play Maleficent, we get a scry. So you can look at the top card of our deck, put it on the top or the bottom. Pass the turn. Opponent is going to Inky Magic Broom <coughs> and play a Cogsworth. And we get to turn back. Another tree drop Maleficent. Not a good one. So we're going to ink her. And go turn to Maleficent. Diablo triggers. We find a Maui on top. I don't know. I don't think that's what we want. It is an inkable though. And we're going to pick up a card off of the other Maleficent. Now let's leave it on top. And we get to quest with Diablo. And that'll be our turn. Opponent has to ink something. Decides to ink a brawl. Going to two. And Cogsworth quests and gets bounced. Thanks to Metamim Snake. 101 the score as we get it turned back. Find Maui, of course. We're going to ink it, which allows us to play Maleficent. Maleficent triggers and resolves. We draw a card. Diablo's ability then triggers. We find a Maleficent dragon on top. I really want to hit that, but we know the way, so I'm going to send it to the that way we're going to have increased chances of finding it. Noting that we know the way forces you to shuffle before we get to activate. And do I want to just quest here? I think that's what I want to do. Quest for three. Then I'll pass the turn back. Opponent inks Cogsworth. Three to three. And Snake can take out Maleficent, our two quester. Taking two points of damage. And for three. Amen Fox is going to bounce it back. And she'll take out Diablo. Double removal for double success. That's the way Ruby Amethyst rolls. And we get the turn back. Find a Maleficent. We get to sing it. We know the way. It's really the reason why I'm playing this deck. We know the way. <clears throat> Let's see if we can hit something good. much as I'd like to put that dragon on top of the deck, I'm not going to do it, at least not intentionally. We can admire the shuffling here. I have no idea where the dragon went. I 
All right. All right. We found a mistress of all evil. Special summon for free. That's pretty good. Except we don't have anything with damage counter on it, but that's okay. Um, we're going to play another Maleficent. Draw card. And the second Mim Fox we're going to ink. Reaching our four ink. Not bad. Not bad. Mistress of Evil and a Maleficent Sorceress on turn four. How do you like that, Ruby Amethyst? I don't pass turn. One draws. Opponent is still on three. So opponent is going to have to ink a snake in a typical fashion. We'll play a Merlin Bunny. Picks up a card. And Fox will trade with our Maleficent as we get the turn back. Whenever Mistress of All Evil quests, we can draw a card, and whenever we draw a card, we can move a damage counter to an opposing character. So I'm not overly useful right now. But I'll start with this Maleficent singing Friends on the other side, picking up two cards. Another friends and a snake. We're going to ink that snake. Don't really need her. Actually, we, we do, but only one of them. If the other Maleficent gets the quest, which means we get to draw a card. A Maui. And I still have five available. And I think we want to go snake, pick up the Maleficent, replay the Maleficent, draw a card. Another fox. Then we'll pass the turn back to the opponent. Opponent inks a magic broom. Going to five. And it's going to play a crab. Merlin crab boosting the little rabbit so it can take out our Maleficent and unfortunately stay alive. That's disappointing. But Merlin rabbit gets to do that much damage oh well and that's our opponent's turn this turn passes back to us find a small maleficent let's see friends on the other side uh is that what we want to do otherwise we can bounce bounce the crab if we shift the formidable queen Bounce the crab, take down the rabbit, quest. Seems like a fine line. Opponent has five cards in hand. The opponent's on five ink, so there's no be prepared coming down imminently. Maybe we go with that route. So let's ink him in fox. Got too many of those. Shift the Maleficent, Formidable Queen. Formidable. When we play her, bounce a character costing three or less. That'll be Merlin, Merlin the Crab. Uh, actually, wait, wait. His ability triggers also when he, when he leaves play. Sorry. Snake takes down Bunny. Opponent draws a card. Then we Maleficent bouncing the, the crab. Sorry, don't want the rabbit to become unkillable. Or catch rabies and be very dangerous for a snake. Still a little dangerous, but not overly dangerous. And we get a quest. Going to eight. The pressure is on. The pressure is on, opponent. And the opponent has already drawn card for the turn. Um, so the crab is going to get inked. Which means their opponent is now on six. Uh, 
opponent lands Lady Tremaine, which will force us to sacrifice our snake, which honestly isn't a bad exchange. And we get the turn back. Find another small Maleficent. So big Maleficent's gonna quest. But she's just a big quester. Then I think we just double drop the Maleficent. And pick up a card. Another friend. And we'll pass the turn back to our opponent. Opponents on six. Opponent inks a magic broom. Going to seven. And seven is going to be Sisu questing with Tremaine. And Madame Elephant picking back up Lady Tremaine. And that'll be the end of our opponent's turn. Pick up Big Bad Dragon, which we're starting to get close to being able to cast. We're going to sing using our card drawing Maleficent. It's what she does best. And we find another formidable queen. So let's ink our Maui. And yeah, formidable queen bounce back, Sisu, and two more stuff. Well, yeah, it's opposing characters only, so I can't bounce back my own Maleficent. But I get the quest for four, going 14, passing the turn back. Hopefully, our opponent doesn't have AB prepared, and opponent simply doesn't have it which is likely inside information. Um, but still, uh, Madame Mim is going to challenge Maleficent, eating two points of damage in the exchange. And that's seven ink. Opponent's going to ink the Queen's Castle, going to eight. And... Actually, opponent won't, must Lady Tremaine here, right? Tremaine forces us to sacrifice one Maleficent pile. Now this turn passes back to us. We find another dragon. Two, four, six, seven. We're still a little short. I have a pair of Maleficents. Part of me is also tempted to just bounce them back with Madame Mim Fox. Then what do I ink? I almost have to ink friends. Unless I eat that small Maleficent. I can I can challenge. Challenge the elephant or ignore the elephant. I feel like challenging the elephant is the right move. Then I can bounce him back with Fox. Play a small Maleficent again, pick up another card. Yeah, maybe you go that route. All right, take down the elephant. There's very few cards that can just challenge it, take her out like that. Although, she has two damage on her, right? Maybe we, we Maui instead. I don't. Maybe I don't need that fox. All right, let's start by casting friends. Let's just hard cast friends on the other side. See what we draw. Find a small Maleficent and a big Maleficent. All right, we're gonna ink our Madame and Fox. Which leaves us five. Which allows us to play our Maui. Maui can take down Metamim Elephant. Takes three points of damage in the exchange, but no biggie. And we get the quest. So we go up to 16. 
Yeah, like that. We'll pass Jiren back to the opponent. Opponent finds a Madame Medusa, which not great against this board state. Opponent really needs a better answer. So it's time for bunnies. Actually, maybe I can squeak in where the opponent's hand is over here. Well, B prepare has been found. So natural next play is the Merlin bunny number two. Finding another Medusa. And Tremaine is going to quest. Going to five. So turn passes back to us. We pick up another big Maleficent. We can just hard cast at this point. But we don't have anything to bounce. So we probably still want to play a small Maleficent, pick up a card, and ink this. To be in good position to stop. Start dropping dragons next turn. Now he has to challenge Tremaine. Because he is reckless. Then we get the quest for two. Going to 18 and passing the turn back. One draws. One quests. <clears throat> and opponent nukes. So five, six, seven. Everything dies. Bunnies draw our opponent two cards. Now our opponent has a healthy seven cards in hand. It's going to ink a Sisu. Which means two ink left. That's enough for Flynn Rider. And we get the turn back. <coughs> you say Flynn, I say no. Maleficent, bounce back that Flynn. No lore for you. We're threatening lethal. Passing the turn back. One draws. Huh. The Lady Trim the, the Mad and Medusas are looking a little silly now. And your opponent has no way to remove Maleficent Formidable Queen with that hand. I guess we won against Ruby Amethyst. I was expecting this to be our hardest matchup. But our, our top end threats evade the Madame Medusas. And they, they play fairly well against the Mauis. And we can kind of match them with the card draw. So actually, this isn't that bad a matchup after all. All right, we'll take the win. And that brings us to one win, two losses. It's okay. Let's move on to deck analysis and review our games. All right, we've played the games and we've gotten some mixed results. Overall, the deck feels sub Ruby Amethyst because <laughs> uh, it's really a very similar shell to Ruby Amethyst with the Maleficent's, the Merlins, and the Bouncing Round with some of the removal, except that we don't have some of the more powerhouse cards. Instead, we have the Maleficent gimmick. We didn't see much of Bruno, uh, which, I mean, it's a pretty nice card if we if we get to pick it up. Uh, but the deck does pick up a lot of cards with the Maleficent, the Merlin, the Bouncing, and the Friends on the other side. That engine, similar to Ruby Amethyst, just keeps the card draw going in a pretty spectacular way. We kind of lacked a little bit when it came down to the removal side of things. And maybe just applying a bit more pressure. Uh, we did get a nice Mistress of All Evil on turn three or four. Anyways, we got her special summoned off of We Know the Way, which was impactful and very strong and put the opponent on the back foot. And We Know the Way is a very fun card to play. <laughs> I'll say that for sure. Uh, is it competitive? Well, maybe. Basically, it doesn't cost you very much. And if you're playing 16, 20 copies of a character, it might actually be worth it. If you're sacrificing a quest or a challenge to play that song or singing something else, it might be worth it, especially if you have a character like Maui or Madame Min that's just sitting there and just wants to sing songs and show off their voices. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to give the Maleficent We Know the Way deck a try, this is a fun version of it. 
maybe tweak it and be a little bit more removal heavy. Maybe remove a pair of vexed party goers for a pair of brawls. That might be an improvement. Maybe we can even trim. I don't know, we had a lot of cards. Maybe Merlin Rabbit for a third brawl. Something like that to try and make it a bit better against these aggro decks. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed the games, enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video, put a comment below telling me, telling me what you want to see next. And on that note, I'll ask you to subscribe and I'll wish you a great day. I'll see you next time.